well hello there my beautiful people i hope you are all doing great this great morning I'm here so in glad to be here once again to share something that is having my soul restless you know um a friend of mine shared something to me from a page that they were um following and it's a travel tip if you want to take it take it as a warning from somebody that experienced this firsthand i'm going to read this i know we don't do this every now and then but when this came to my friend she shared and then i feel like i owe you guys um this like i should share this with you because you never know who it may benefit i don't know if you're a first time traveler if you're a frequent traveler or if you're just a friend to somebody that travels a lot this might be something you want to share with them so it's gonna be something like a story time so grab yourself a cup of coffee grab yourself some tea grab yourself some water grab yourself anything that you feel that tickles your fancy and let's get into this all right okay let's start this i'm gonna be reading straight off what my friend sent me it's story time ladies and gentlemen i'm going to go off this script it's not actually a script it's a story but i'm going to try and narrate it in english and then i will translate it in luganda for my people that don't understand english so this is how this lady starts she's like if you travel by air be aware of over friendly charity sit neighbors this old lady comes and sits next to me inside the plane she asked me to help her put her bag in the overhead luggage compartment but a gentleman sitting across came through i'm not very tall and the overhead luggage compartment is something i try to avoid at all costs immediately she sits down she strikes up a conversation she was very pleasant and well spoken so we chatted all through the flight to dubai suddenly when the pilot announced that we were now proceeding to begin our descent into dubai my friend developed st developed stomach pains me with my good heart i pressed the stewardess button and the stewardess came to find out what the problem was i told her my statement was not feeling well and this lady suddenly began to address me as my daughter the stewardess told me that there was nothing they could do except give her some painkillers and wait until we landed. The pilot announced that we had a medical emergency on board and advised us all to stay calm. My new friend was crying and sweating like crazy and she refused to let go of my hand. Everyone assumed we knew each other. So we landed at Dubai and the same gentleman who put her bag in the overhead compartment removed her luggage but as he removed the luggage he advised me to distance myself from this lady and make it clear to the crew that we were not traveling together he was god said indeed the cabin crew came and asked me if we were related i categorically told them we had met on the plane i didn't know her at all so we began to deplane and as i said goodbye she kept begging me to carry her handbag i was so torn but the gentleman looked at me in the eye and empathetically shook his head he passed me the note telling me to let the cabin crew handle her so i exited the aircraft yeah so i exited the aircraft and left my new friend to wait for the wheelchair and be handled by the cabin crew feeling very guilty as we waited for our luggage to come through i hear this commotion my new friend was running trying to escape from the cabin crew having gotten out of the wheelchair she left the stewardess with her bag and just ran towards the exit and the rest of her with the rest of her hand luggage luckily the airport police were faster than her 
they got a hold of her and brought her back in handcuffs this lady then starts calling me out my daughter my daughter how could you do this to me that's when i called on she was carrying drugs and she was trying to implicate me lucky for me the gentleman who had helped with her luggage came forward and told the airport police that me and her had just met on the plane the police took my passport asked her to reveal my full names if she was truly traveling to uh traveling with me this is the i'm not saying me she was saying that yeah they asked this lady to reveal her names just to confirm that both of them were traveling together by god's grace i had not told her my first name i was still asked to follow the police to a little room where i was questioned extensively where i did meet her where i did board where did she board etc and my luggage was extensively searched and dusted for fingerprints they dusted all her bags and my fingerprints were not found anywhere on her luggage or on her handbag i was let go with advice never to touch anyone's luggage either in flight or at the airport so from that day i do not care how much luggage you have you will deal with it yourself i will not even offer your trolley to put your luggage on my policy is your luggage your problem and if you cannot reach the overhead compartment and i'm the nearest person please call the cabin crew because all i will do is give you a stare back and look away i learned a lesson if you intend to travel in the air this is something you might want to learn okay so but to be the body this person is sharing her experience of how you know how you get on a flight a lot of us are africans people get friendly you want to be nice and you want to be in uganda can be jabule jabule mangu because i got a video one way so i'm shalom about that uh uh governor nafe uh story in getty jaya jaya almost jay valley back in the okum kwatira kuchisawe dubai ngabalo oza nti yatambude no muntu abadde akukusent ebiragala e, e, lagala so omchala agamba bwe yatuka kunyonyi yatula kumpi no omchala yali mukadde kadde omchala omkadde oyo na bwe batu bwe batu kawe bati batu de kumpi ageza ko mugambe bana yesi si si sola kuteka nsawo zange wagulu mu mushimu mu overhead eh like bo tuka kunyonyi wali wowe tutegeke emigugo mugugu wange sigusohola guwa nikayo nyamba mkama ayambo mwalo ono omusaje um, yali abali nani lide naja na bagamba anze kamba yambe cuz ngo musaje abasaje ababa bamanyi so musaje abayamba ateke emigugu wagulu bweteba omkazo ono mkadde te yakoma kwecho ayogedde nono mwala ambu banyu miembozi okuva olugendo lwawe lwata andika paka lwatu ke dubai baba na atero ku tuke dubai ku kisawe Captain Yalanga ku kazinda lunch tutu se Dubai enyonye genda ku ka tunatera okulandinga olwa olwa ulirecho omukadde natan ko ku gama mbolu buto lumuluma kati one ngeri je bali nti bazze banyumya wa mkwano gwe nganyiga kadenga ayita abakola ku kunyonyinga bagamba banange ono gwe ntude naye agamba olubuto lumuluma muradde amgama yetu tutu so rede kate tuina che tusobola kola okuja ko kumwa pain killer oba panado ngaba muwa uh, panado oba bichi oba pain killer ze bamwa ngaba tuka ku kisawe captain ngagamba na etulina obuzibu waliwo mtu omulwadde na ye tutu se so temwera likirira nyo tutu se jetulaga so tubasa bambere bakakam batu kwa ku kisawe omwami one yabayamba okuwanika yensawo era yabayamba nazi jayo baba bafuluma Uh, ono agenda okulaba babo bafuluma omwami ono yamugamba namugamba banange bobango ofuluma bano bagambe nti omchala to mmanyi omsanze kunyonyi ono mkazi watu nechi sache yeye soka na nechimulumiriza naye nagoberera 
omwami nti ali amugambye batuuka emigugu jabwe bajirinze agenda okulaba waliwo engeri ya yobukubagana abantu bale kana bichi 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 okulaba ngo omchala bwe yabadde naye kunyonyi ageza ako okuduka eyabadde agamye nti muradde bamtadde ne mukagali bamfulumya mukaza ageza ako okuduka choke emigugu ajirekedde abakaza abakola kunyonyi Mm, agenda okulaba bamukomyawo bamukomezawo mu mpingu nga bamugamba ono mchala yabadde akola chi abadde akukusabira galala gala chumyawo bamtade mu mpingu a uh, bwalabo omwalo no bwedda bwali naye kunyonyinga atandiko mugamba ne muwala gwe bichi muwala wange chichi mbu muwala wange chichi onkoze chichi onkoze kati ya police we bawuliranga omchalo na ina gwamanyi na nono mwana naye ne bamu ne bakola chine bamunyweza namugamba jangu otunyonyole ngeli je mwe manyiganye batu ukeyo nga bagamba bana nze sina simumanyi echamu ya matino mwa myole yabayambiye ku migugu okujiwa nikano okujiwa nukululayo yali ali kumpi nga gamba wa police nti abo tebe manyi besanze kunyonyi mwala mstile la police ya mtwala Mtu wala mkasenge, wala mkebede, wala mkebede miguguje. Katia echi mutasa, mbu baku wata passport ye ni wabu uzo mchalono. Yeso gamba mwaze mwena. Na ye ono mwala manya geyani. Mwala gamba nzo ono simu manyi. Ono mchala gamba ono mwala wange. Nga wabu uzo ni abadu. Echaya mbu mwala. Mbu wabu uza omukazo ono nti mwala wa manya gega yaani. Echa muyamba ya lita mwulide manya gego na ngo mchala takola chi tagamanyi au waitirawo polisi nge mu ziza bintu bye nga ba muuninga nga ba mgamba butuka nga ku kisawe ko bengo oli ku kisawe tokwata nga ku mugugu gwa muntu mulala ye nago tatambo dena ye nga ba muta omwala nga itira mwao so ye story je mba demba lete dolu alero mwaba ine kisa osanze namukadde Atambula yerese yeka yetusiza yeka kunyonyi choka kati atuse kunyonya kugamba sola kusas kukwata migugu abamu bamanyi no kubaga mbambu emigugu jange jijude ntwalira ako no tokiriza kubanga olabo na kugamba bakola ne migugu ne bajikola fingerprint kati just imagine singa ya kwate mugugu ogo na guanika fingerprints size za ndibaddeko ogenda baka kasoti anga tene ku migugu jono fingerprints kwezili bana embede begendereza ense kaye abantu bagezi wadde abafere banji ata abafere bajira mu bulidanji bafana nanga fe abamu bazungu ngabo tubaita so be careful if you're traveling be aware okay be aware people are smart and people are taking um uh, are taking advantage of your kindness and you will get implicated into something or sometimes chota so and akwe jam so ye bi bi njaga dokuba isiza olwa lero share ka video no muntu yena go manya na atero kutambula abatambula buli kasera atambula for the first time you never know kubanga fe batu kuzanga tuli ba kisaba na Uganda tuli bantu ba kisanyo comparing ku bantu abalala but your kindness sometimes is going to end you in hot soup hey be careful now